Hey guys, this is Coral and welcome to another weekly update video of World of Custom Statues. If you are interested in any of the pieces mentioned in the video, just send me a message on the social media platform links in the description below. Also, if you want to see more photos, just check out the description as well. So we have a full reveal for this cosmic Spider-Man. This is probably the rarest costume of Spider-Man I've ever seen. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be great. The base is most likely going to be translucent. So just hit me up if you are interested. We have the prototype revealed for this nullified Miles Morales Spider-Man. And it definitely did not disappoint. Comes with two portraits and a headstand. Next, we have a prototype reveal for this Miles Morales Spider-Man for both versions actually. Since this Miles Morales comes in two versions, the comic version and the movie or the Spider-Verse version. So the comics version is the pure black costume while the Spider-Verse version is the one with the hoodie and the Jordans of course. Both Spider-Man comes with a lot of switch out so again hit me up if interested. This Hellwalker spawn by Caleb Nefsen just got printed. Unfortunately, this is the only photo that I have. So more photos soon. We have another statue that is ready to ship and we have this angel spawn. If you are into spawn and looking to have all his different versions or costumes, then this is a must have. It will most likely be a while till we see another quarter scale angel spawn. Next, we have a full reveal for this Batman and Spawn diorama. Uh, this one is sculpted by Caleb Nefsen. Gonna be quite an amazing diorama to own for sure. But if this dio is not your thing, you can actually pre-order them solo. We have the full reveal for this Harley Quinn statue. It's by my favorite female sculptor. And as per usual, very, very beautiful portraits. Pre-order is not open yet for this one and will most likely be very soon. We have the prototype reveal for this medieval spawn. And now you have an option if you want to get the big gory diorama base or a simple rocky museum type of base. Either way, this piece still looks amazing. This Nightwing just got printed and I can't wait for the prototype reveal for this one. We have some photos for the prototype of this Weapon X that was sculpted by Alejandro Pereira. Already looks very promising, can't wait for the full reveal. Next, we have a new variant reveal for this Iron Spider-Man. This time, it's the black version. Looks really cool and fresh to my eyes. Never seen an Iron Spider-Man black version before, so this is really, really cool. We have a newly revealed Spider-Man with a Spider-Man Beyond variant. This is the first time I've seen this variant of Spider-Man, to be honest. Might be a good addition for Spider-Man collectors. Next is I'm selling a pre-order for this cable. This cable will come in two versions to choose from, either the OG with the blue colors or the X-Force one with the darker colors. I really like this cable as it is more uh, comic accurate in my opinion and I do wish they make the left arm chrome. It's gonna be sick if they do. We have the prototype reveal for this Del Otto inspired Spider-Man. This is sculpted by Steven Sanchez. We can now see the textures on his costume more clearly. The webbing is removable if that is not your thing. The base is painted quite nice. It definitely looks like it's a real gargoyle. And lastly, as you can see, the spotlight does turn on and you could use it to light up the statue. Next, we have a full reveal on the prototype of this Eradicator. Probably the only quarter scale Eradicator you'll see. 
have lots of portrait switchouts. You can even choose to have the blacked out portraits. Next is we have this recovery suit Superman. It will come with three portraits and there will be a hand switch out so you can display him with or without the guns. This is a line of a series of Supermans. There will be an Eradicator, a Cyborg, a Steel and other versions of Superman and all of them will be museum type. Next is we have this one-third Iron Man available for pre-order. It has a lot of different versions from normal to special to deluxe. Each version offers different switchouts. It just depends on which one you like. We have a prototype reveal and open pre-order for this black version of a museum type Silver Surfer. The prototype is actually painted by Titino Naxod. Very, very cool left hand switch out with the cosmic powers. And of course, the base is nicely painted as well. This version of Silver Surfer still comes in both quarter scale and one third scale versions. And of course, you could also still get him in this usual silver or chrome version too. Next, we have the full reveal for this Batman The Dark Knight Returns on horse. He will come with no switch outs and I don't think that he needs any of them. What you see is what you get. Next, we have a prototype reveal for this Harley Quinn. And this is also open for pre-order. I like her cheerleader-like outfit here. She, she definitely looks like a kick-ass college chick here. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this MCU Old Man Logan. I think this is the only statue uh, with a Hugh Jackman portrait and the portrait actually looks pretty good. I think this is a must-have for any Wolverine collectors. Hey guys, so we have more big discounts available for the stuff that were left from the warehouse. Everything on the screen is available. Some are on low quantity, just one piece. Some are obviously more. These pieces will not have any replacement. So in case there's anything broken, it will not be replaced. So just be cautious of that. I am talking to the warehouse owner and not the factory or the studio or the commissioner. So the commissioner actually left all the stuff in the warehouse and the warehouse owner just wants everything gone. And they are available in 1 4th scale and 1 6th scale. So just hit me up if you are interested in any of the pieces here. Again, every information you need will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates. And if you are looking for a different video to watch, you should check out this video right here. This is Carl and see you again next week.